Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. Um, I'm doing a review on these two three and three quarter figures from the vintage collection. Um, I got Moth, Judge and Rod <coughs> from Empire Strike, Return of the Jedi, I'm sorry. And Nian Nub. Numb. I think that's how you pronounce it. Nice looking cards. But um, I found the whole wave. Um, at least these guys right here, I found them all. I passed, I passed on Cat Bane. He looks pretty cool, but you know, um, I already have a, a Bane, a Cat Bane um, from the Clone Wars, and another and a, a Black Series one. So I passed, passed out on on that guy. Um, and these ones I already have. I don't know if I have this one in the new vintage line, but I know I have them. Um, I, I believe it was uh, the power of the force, maybe. I, I, I think I'm not sure. Uh, and, and I got the rest of them, you know, a long time ago. So, yeah. And then I passed out on uh, this uh, Boba Fett with the Tuscan Raider soft goods. Uh, so I guess, you know, just wanted these two figures, and that's pretty much it. Um. So let's open him up first. It looks really cool. Um, just another, you know, officer for my Empire collection. There he is. Comes with a small little pistol here. It's got some, you know, tape like always. Um, if you're in the, in, into the collecting world, uh, the one that fr frustrated me a lot is the DC and Masters of the Universe. The, you know, they got all those little tights that hold the figure together. And I just hate opening them up. Anyway, um, looks like he's got a nice articulation, as you can see. Um, yeah, they both hinge legs I'm just gonna have him standing in one pose though but as you can see it's, it's got a lot of articulation articulation also in the, it's got a rocker on the ankle so pretty cool this is how much the feet can go back if you want to put them in a dynamic pose and a ball hinge I love that I think I don't think the, the head is removed I love that um, the officers or, or the uh, guards from Vespin, <laughs> I don't know why they, they got removable, removable hats. I, I just hate that. Now, one thing that um, I wish they could have done is give them a holster for the weapon. Because for the most part, I'm just going to have them, you know, just like, just like this. You know, standing. So I wish they could have given us a holster. But there's a closer look to his head sculpt. Really cool. I don't think it looks just like the actor, but that's okay. I think. Close enough, I guess. Um so yeah, pretty cool figure. Great addition to my ever-growing uh Empire Officers, I guess. I guess I'll give him the pistol. There's no need really, but you know. Well, I, th I guess he goes in this hand. Yeah, he goes in this hand. Look at the trigger finger right there. So yeah, pretty cool. You know. So yeah, there's a 360 on him, on this figure. Nice paint job. Nice uh, gloss on the boots. Uh, nice uh, belt buckle there and his insignia. Yeah, it looks pretty good. A few of the figures that I would like to, for them to remake, and I'll buy it, is the General Grievous from Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, the three and three quarter one, because I had one, I had two really, but one of them, I opened them both, because I put one in, uh, in his ship, and the other one is just, you know, in, in one of my uh, 
episode uh, episode three series. Let me open up our Nian knob here. I had a couple of versions of this guy. I guess I got the three and three quarter version also. I mean, not the um the Force Awakens version of him, but it wasn't articulated. It was the the five POA that uh, were out around that time. I don't mind the five POA really. As a matter of fact, I liked it because uh, prices were down and I was very happy with with what I got, you know. Less articulation, but they had nice sculpts. Um, bear with me for one second. I'm gonna bring him the Force Awakens one and a couple of the other, you know, other uh, just like him. Sorry about that, guys. I brought um, a few of the figures here from Nienum. Nieng Numb. All right, I'm trying to pronounce it right. Okay, so I want to do a comparison in a minute, but um, I'm just going to share with you guys how he how this one looks. And as far as I can see, articulation is again pretty cool. The legs are not hinged, they are swivel, as you can see. But it's got articulation in the knees, as it should be. And also probably got articulation in the, in the, but I can't really see. I believe they do though, you know, they should. I don't know, I don't wanna force it. I think they do though. I think I think there, there's some type of articulation. There should be. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna, not gonna force it, but this thing is in the way that I can, I can't really see. Yeah, I think there is. I'm not, I don't know. I'm gonna watch somebody else's review before, <laughs> before I do it myself. I don't want to break the figure. Um, let me see. He's also got articulation there on the show on the shoulders, as you can see. And there's the head sculpt. Let me just see a comparison. This is the Force Awakens one. And I guess he got, he got older. There you go. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, no, they look different. I thought they were the same. Um, and I thought I already had them, but I guess not. So <laughs> it's a good thing that I bought it. Let me see this one. This one, yeah. I don't know. Well, you tell me, guys. I don't know. I think it's the same. Maybe it's diff you know different characters, but same race. All right. So let me put this back on his hand over here. All right. So it comes with a rifle. Pretty cool rifle. It's got a scope and everything, so yeah. And it comes with a pistol. Now the good thing about this figure is that it does come with a holster. So let's put this holster. I mean, this, I put the gun inside a holster. Oh, so good. Okay. All right, and I guess we'll put the 
rifle or give him the rifle. Man, I can. And because it's all black, I can't really see, but I think I got it. I think I got it. I don't know. Yeah, it's just, I think the, it's a little big, the, um, you know, the, the handle. But anyway, yeah, I think I got it though. Yeah. All right. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, uh but the feet, um, uh, yeah, I, I, I can't see, man. I can't, I can't see. And I really don't want to force it, but it feels like it does. It feels like it does. I don't know. It feels like it does. But I'm going to see somebody else review it. When I touch it, it looks like he wants to move it. But I'm not sure. And this this is, you know, in the way. So I can really, you know, I can really tell. Oh, and also it's got a torso articulation. So, yeah. Pretty cool figure for the Return of the Jedi. And here are the other ones that I had in the past. Next, next up, I'm gonna be doing a video on this vehicle here, but it's gonna be, you know, in a couple of days, maybe Friday when I come back from work, I'll work on it. I work second shift, so it's really late right now. Everybody's asleep, so, but yeah, there they are. Um, price went up again, and these guys go for $16.99, so, I don't know. That I that's another reason I didn't get Boba Fett or Cat Bane, but I got these two figures that I wanted in my collection. You know, and there's a few more that I still want in my collection. So I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for um some sales later on, hopefully. Um uh, but I'm really putting my money towards uh Masters of the Universe and DC. Um uh, basically that's it. G.I. Joe and Transformers, I'm you know there's a few figures here and there that I want, but I'm I'm holding off on those. But as you can see, there they go. Pretty cool figures. If you got the money to get them, get them. I do have a few more figures that I need to do a review on for the Black Series line. Not that many though. Not that many. I think it's just two of them. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.